welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain sources of vital statistics so what are the main sources of vital statistics a two sources registration method and census method that these are the two particular methods we collect the vital statistics see first of all we discuss one by one the methods first of all registration method so in this method it is defined as in this method the data is collected for various vital events the definition can be explained expressed the registration method is defined as the continuous and permanent recording of vital events relates to births deaths marriages migration divorces separations etc which are going to be registered continuously and a permanent record is going to be maintained and such kind of uh, uh, collecting the data it is called registration method this is one of the very important method of uh, obtaining the vital statistics the data may be used in two particular purposes first purpose it is used as a legal document for example birth certificate so one particular legal property land documents which are all comes under a legal document second it can be used for the source of statistics now we can use the secondly a source of statistics we can use as a source of statistics and uh, which uh, information it, it is going to be provided you see the registration of births provides uh, the information of place of birth sex male or female age what is the age religion of the parents legitimacy number of previous issues and other success father's occupation birthplace of parents etc and similarly some information also available deaths death registration if you consider the death registration marriage registration etc some kind of information is available in that uh, format as well in the form of the death registration in the form of the marriage registration also you may get some uh, relevant information similar information is going to be obtained and uh, in most of the countries the registration of the occurrence of vital events like births deaths marriages migration etc is compulsory under their law and uh, for example uh, every new birth has to be reported to the respective authorities similarly death of a person should be recorded in time that is also one important thing birth of a person death of a person is going to be reported is going to be reported such kind of reporting and uh, getting the information is nothing but uh, it is called registration method what we are doing the registration method the person whoever the one particular person or uh, concerning to that person any other uh, person is going to be reported to the respective uh, government department and so that uh, registration took place for either for birth or a death or a marriage or separation etc everything or any kind of legality is going to be expressed it is going to be informed registered in this method so that hence it is called registration method hope you understand and what are the drawbacks of the registration method we discuss here what are the drawbacks there is no compulsory registration system of vital events in rural areas not even rural areas we can also specify this same statement for urban areas as well if their individual purposes it may be noted but uh, it is not a uh, compulsory system this is one drawback of this particular method the statistics of births suffers from error of underestimation 
since in the rural areas it was collected by village level officers and even it was compulsory in the municipalities urban areas the laws are very vary laws are vary from state to state so therefore uh, these are not uh, uh, going to be taken place every birth regist uh, registration is not uh, going to be completed and it is going to be underestimated that is very for, uh, very very uh, important drawback so everybody is not doing that is that is what we can simply conclude that every person has to register but it is not going to be this particular process is not going to be done right next the statistics of deaths is also not re reliable since uh, due to non availability of qualified doctors in villages and hence the cause of death remains undiagnosed the, what is the cause of death so that uh, medical facilities are going to, are, should, are going to be improved that is the reason why we are uh, taking the reason of the uh, death so it is not going to be done properly that is what the another kind of drawback of this registration method the purpose is not surviving there are no proper records about the age of mothers at the time of marriage at the birth of first child and uh, other children in the in our country so whatever uh, the previous uh, issue of the female is not going to be registered properly so therefore there is a huge, there is one another uh, problem of registration method it's another, another drawback this this is another drawback the religious customs of hindus muslims christians are also obstacle to register their marriages marriage is also not not going to be registered properly because of many reasons many uh, customs of the various relig uh, religions so therefore in india a separate organization should be set up to collect the data of vital events completely and systematically to achieve this the registration of vital events like births deaths marriages etc made compulsory must be we, we must insist them to register compulsory that is very important and uniform in the entire country and it should be uniform in that one from one state to another state it should be uniform from, uh, for all the states in the country the entire country this is what the first method registration method come to the second method it is called census method you see this is what census method it is a one particular uh, usual method which is conducted for every 10 years every 10 years the population uh, the census is conducted in regular intervals of time usually for ten, every 10 years a census means a complete enumeration of the population complete enumeration of the population of the particular area under study and collecting information from all the individuals regarding age sex marital status occupation religion and other social and social and economical conditions social and economical conditions based on the socio economic condition they prepare a set of questions and then uh, they gather the information regarding all the individuals uh, living in the country living in a particular region or or living in a particular region so in india census is conducted for every 10 years the latest census was conducted in 2011 in 2021 it is going to be conducted because of some reasons is uh, um, maybe it is running so information is not uh, clear and drawback of the census method the main drawbacks of the census method is that it provides vital statistics only for the census years that is very important drawback data is available for census years only that is 2011 2001 1991 1981 etc for the years of census years only it fails to give the information of the vital events during inter period that is uh, 
between one census period to another census period that is 1991 to 2001 if you ask or if you uh, require any any uh, statistics vital statistics regarding to the a particular period between these two periods 1991 2001 for example 1992 93 94 data is not available because of the reason that it is conducted at one particular time point time point 2001 you have, to, you have collected the uh, census data for two, in the year 2001 so later on after, after uh, 10 years only again uh, the data will be conducted, data will be collected. <clears throat> Therefore, this is the main drawback of this particular census method. So what, is the differ what are the differences between census method and registration method? In the registration method, the person has to approach to the organization and they have to inform to the organization that this was happened, what was take, took place. Uh, or uh, death was to, uh, taken place or some marriages marriage happened it was took place etc we have to give the information but uh, whereas in the census method the census method is the one such method they come and collect the data that is usually called enumerator or investigator they come and collect the data and such kind of collecting the data is known as uh, uh, in the census method the method of collecting the data is census method. Hope you understand this is what registration method and census method are the two important sources of vital statistics. Thank you. Thank you very much.